Today we are going to uh, create a side panel. This is the side panel. Okay, so let's start. <coughs> this is my storyboard. So I am deleting all the things I created. <coughs> so now this makes a clear storyboard and let's go to view controller file and I have cleared that as well. <coughs> okay so this is our very <coughs> fresh project this is our h file header file then this is the master file clear and clean like new one and this is our storyboard which is clean as well so let's start uh, the side panel the side panel is <coughs> an option to give your users some add-on features or options or sometimes when you have more than four or five um, options for users you provide side panel because at max five buttons can reside in a tab bar <coughs> so let's start I I put this a header of the app oh, sorry okay so this is the header of the app I made its width compatible to all sizes and then just give it a color okay great then what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a button for menu <coughs> set its type to custom and great here you can on main view you can place anything like table view or whatever you want to show on home screen now the second thing what we are going to do is place a UI view I'm using UI view you may use UI button as well which is going to be a full size okay like expanding on whole screen <coughs> changing its color to black and its alpha 2.5 and set it to hidden because initially we don't want to show this now this is our side panel just drag it down to the bottom change its background color to dark gray or whatever in your designs and make its height compatible to all screen size great now just place a image view which um, this depends on how your side panel is designed <coughs> so normally side panels have a user profile pic and their name so here I am using this image as a profile pic it's a screenshot and <coughs> then I'm going to change it let's change it use this Mr. Piggy so I'm reducing the profile pic size so that it looks good you may you may use your own image whatever size you want then I'm placing a label for username set it alignment center white color
and then we are going to place a separator to separate the options with the user info now we are going to place buttons there are two options here if you have uh, suppose around 10 options inside panel use table view if you have three or four or five then go ahead with buttons buttons are easy to implement So go on with as, <clears throat> as much options you want to provide here. I'm just going ahead with three. My profile, my, <clears throat> my videos and settings. <clears throat> Sorry for the bad voice, I'm not well actually. Okay, so this is done and now let's move ahead with viewcontroller.h file let's make the IB outlets here so we have a transparent view I'm making its IB outlet then we have a side panel and then we have menu button okay so we just <coughs> created three IB outlets and set its property now I'm going to synthesize all these three IB outlets now here I am going to add a tap gesture recognizer to our trans view so that it can dismiss the menu like this okay as I said you can use a button instead of a view for this but I personally use view done <clears throat> now we have to create a function
and IB action. So what we are going to do is we are going to change the x-axis of a side, pan, uh, side panel view to make it visible so it will give an effect like this coming from left edge inside the view <coughs> okay so let's do it this is where our real code goes and if you want to do anything on completion you can do it here like this I'll simply set it to nil so you can do anything here if you want to do perform something after this animation but if you don't want to perform anything just set it nil now here we are going to change the x axis of the side panel and here we want to show the trans view as well when the side panel is open so that it prevents any tap on main view and also it gives a way to hide the side panel again now just copy this go to your hide side panel paste it and change the x-axis from 0 to minus side panel dot frame dot size dot width and set transfer set hidden to yes now just go to your storyboard right click on side panel connect its IV outlet then click on trans view and connect its IV outlet similarly for menu button <coughs> now initially just hide the side panel take it out of the view and now uh, your side panel is done you can do anything on this main screen whatever you want to do when you compile this it will be something like this so here we have and this is our trans view which is being shown now I, when I tap on it the side panel will hide and this is what we can do thank you for joining me and update me in comments or like this video if it really helped you and also suggest me what else you want to learn in, your, in my next tutorial. I'll be happy to hear from you, you guys and have a great holiday season.